Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and welcome back. I am in the middle of a tutorial series on how to use Mixplay Interactive, set it up, program it, make buttons, do things. Um, this is episode three of that. So if you want to see what our initial result is going to be, check out episode one. If you're coming into this cold, you're pretty far into it and you may be confused. So I'd recommend watching the other ones first. They're in the description below. Everything you need to download to get to where we're at is also in the description below. So let's get started. Today we're going to learn how to make your button display an image on your stream. So right now in the last video we made our button, which I'm going to change the color of this too because it's hard to see. We made our button make a noise. And there we go. Our button makes an air horn noise and has a cooldown. So we're going to change this up. I'm going to change the color of this real quick, which we can do that by going into our settings. Go down to Dev Lab. Go down to Mix Play Projects, select our project, which is my tutorial project, build, and there's our big old fat button right there. So, because we don't have a picture on it yet, we are going to name it Air Horn. And then we're going to make this, nah, I don't want to make it cost anything because that, uh, as I said in the last video and the video before that, if you're not a partner, if you make something cost sparks, it's basically just wasting that viewer's sparks because you don't get those as far as March of 2019. Viewer non-partners do not get viewer sparks that they spend on them. Hopefully that changes. That'd be really cool. There's like a spark pool that you can do, but I don't know. So we got spark cost zero. We got this. We're going to do the text color. Let's make that and click that. It brings up a little color window. Let's make that look gold. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, we'll do the border color, make it white. And then the background color, let's make that, I don't know, red. It looks good to me. There. Okay. And then you just hit the little X up here to save it. And then you save it again. Now here's the first thing I'm showing you now is when you've made a change on your code, or on your build for Mixer, you have to resync your board on Firebot. So we'll minimize this. We go to the buttons, let's desync it, unsync it, whatever. Go to change board, and we're gonna do resync board. And then there we go, it took the name right there, still does its deal. And then we re toggle that switch on. We can load back up Mixer. We can click our deal right here, go back to Mixer, click our icon at the top right, go to home. We are at our channel, and there's our air horn button. Can't miss this bad boy. And so, shrink that a little bit right here. And now we're gonna make a display picture. So, this is where we're gonna use Streamlabs. So Streamlabs, let's open that up right here. And I already have a Firebot in here, but that was from my demonstration, so I'm gonna remove this right there. Say okay. And then we go over to Firebot itself, and we have to go to Settings, Overlay, and then we gotta get an overlay path. We click this, it explains that we just need to do a browser web page source. So we're going to click this, copy. Another thing you have to know is that Firebot overlays won't work if you're running Firebot on a computer that you're not streaming on. Let's just say, if I have Streamlabs open on this computer, but I have a laptop with Firebot open, the sounds will all work, but the overlay will not. So I always have Streamlabs running and Firebot running simultaneously on my computer that I'm playing and streaming on. So we copied my path, hit OK. Then we go back to Streamlabs. And in my example deal, we want to hit add a new source, browser source, hit add source. We can name this Firebot Tutorial. Add new source, name, paste it there. Then we hit OK. You can change the dimensions if you want, but I just like keeping it there. Maybe we can do it a perfect square. 800 by 800. So done. So there's our overlay. So now if we program it to display a picture, it's gonna pop up in this little square. So let's just put it right here. Let's drag it open a little bit. We can lock it so we don't accidentally move it. Now it's there. And we go back to buttons, air horn. We're gonna edit it. And we already added effect down here, but the cool thing is you can add multiple effects to one button. So we're going to add a new effect. We're going to search for the effect and we're going to scroll down and choose show image. 
Now, personally, I like to use web-based stuff. You know, you can have local files, but if you get a new computer or something like that, you're gonna have to tell the exact file path that you had it in your old computer for it to seamlessly work. Or you have to refine that file again. It could be a pain in the butt. So we're gonna do URL. And then over here in my imager account, which you should probably have one of these, we're just gonna have Jake right here come up. Direct link, I like to copy that. And then we're gonna paste it right there. And it reads it. Since you're connected to the internet, Firebot is not blocked from seeing the internet it can find that URL. Now we can choose a custom area for this image to show up in. So we're just gonna choose the center and the duration. Let's just do like two seconds. You can make it fade in. Well, how about we do bounce in, something crazy. And then in between it does nothing or you can make it flash, pulse, shake, swing, pulse, why not? And then we go exit on its way out. We'll have it slide. I don't know, up. Uh, how about that? Then we hit add. So we want to test that. Normally we've been testing things by seeing our button right here. So let's save. So now our thing makes a noise. But wait, it's not showing up on our stream. Oh yeah, because we're not streaming. So we have to load up Streamlabs to test the overlays. So we click the air horn again. There's our deal. And then it slides away. And it's as easy as that. And if you want to edit these, you click show image and then it brings up all the properties. We can shrink it. Let's just say that was pretty big. So we want to do like, I don't know, width be 800 and height be 400. How about that? So it's a rectangle. Hit save, save, and then we test it again. Now it's in view. And that is how you make a button display an image on Mixplay Interactive using Firebot. That's going to wrap it up for this video. If that helped you out, maybe like and throw a subscribe. That'd be cool because that's going to help me out. And next tutorial, you're going to learn something else that has to do with the very first video is a big explanation of menus, pictures, actions, text, tons of stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.